Shalom, grace and peace to you from our Lord Jesus Christ. Today I would share a message with a title with a new heart based on the book of Exodus chapter 12 verse 18 to 25. Israelites had to leave Egypt on the night uh, God uh, struck Egypt uh, with a tenth uh, plague. God uh, brought a great victory for them and they became travelers uh, like us. Uh, in January we uh, did a pilgrim's uh, journey exercise. Uh, it tells that uh, we are travelers uh, in the whole time of this uh, world uh, until we reach uh, our uh, kingdom. It is uh, impossible, it was impossible Israelites uh, came out of uh, Egypt uh, with their own might. Uh, but uh, God uh, helped uh, them with uh, His uh, almighty hand uh, and they could, uh, they were able to leave uh, the land, uh, Egypt, uh, where they became slaves. Uh. Today, the text uh, it tells uh, of uh, Passover. Passover um, falls uh, on the 14th day of the first uh, month uh, in Israel. Uh, calendar. They uh, had to uh, prepare the they have to prepare a lamb and on that night uh, they must uh, eat uh, the roasted uh, lamb with a bitter uh, herb. Bitter herb um, means a uh, their life uh, in uh, suffering. We, um, you know, uh, were like um, Israelites. Uh, our salvation couldn't be done with our own might. Uh, with God's almighty uh, power and love, He sent uh, the true Lamb, Jesus uh, Christ, uh, for us. Uh, he uh, became sacrifice. Uh, he died uh, on cross uh, to forgive uh, our um, sins. Um, Israelites, uh, they um, applied uh, the blood of the Lamb on the door post. Uh, and they uh, ate uh, the roasted uh, lamb. We um, are uh, saved uh, by the lamb. We are saved uh, by the lamb. And Jesus said uh, we should uh, drink uh, his uh, blood uh, and also eat his uh, flesh. We, of course, uh, understand it not literally, but uh, spiritually. To drink uh, his um, blood uh, means uh, when we believe uh, in Christ, uh, his uh, blood uh, was uh, sprinkled uh, on our heart uh, and our sins uh, are forgiven. Yes, we, uh, His uh, blood uh, indeed uh, was sprinkled uh, on our heart. Uh, and to eat His uh, flesh uh, means uh, Jesus uh, died on cross. Uh, right before his, He died, uh, He said, uh, It is uh, finished. Uh, what did He finish? The work of uh, our salvation. He has done 
and when we believe uh, the effect of uh, his uh, finished uh, work uh, for our salvation has been applied uh, to us uh, what it means uh, we are saved uh. when Jesus uh, was uh, crucified uh, people who didn't believe in him who didn't believe uh, in him they might think uh, he looks uh, like a deceiver he was a uh, powerless they said uh, if you are really the son of God come down from cross and we will believe and now we uh, know Jesus uh, was uh, crucified uh, not because uh, he didn't have uh, power he didn't have uh, um, power not to do it uh, he's sinless uh, but uh, intentionally uh, he surrendered uh, his uh, life uh, spiritually not to uh, Rome pilot or high priest uh, but to God to save uh, us and um, the cross of Jesus uh, means uh, true uh, victory our true king uh, fought uh, for his uh, people and finally he has won the victory for us uh. therefore we have to love the cross of uh, Jesus uh. and um, we um, have to we have to go on this uh, journey with uh, the cross hallelujah let me uh, read uh, Exodus chapter 12 verse 21 then Moses summoned uh, all the elders of Israel and said to them go at once and select uh, the animals uh, for your families uh, and slaughter the pasa of a lamb remove uh, the east uh, calling to new life um, Exodus chapter 12 uh, verse uh, 19 for seven days uh, no east is to be found uh, in your houses uh, and whoever is anything with the east uh, in it must uh, be cut off from the community of Israel whether he is an alien or native uh, born on Passover they have to prepare Passover lamb and there are another um, order the following day of Passover starts um, the, uh, the feast of the unleavened bread uh, starts uh, on the following day of Passover Passover day is uh, 14th uh, and the feast of uh, unleavened bread uh, 15th uh, to 21st uh, for seven days um, they must uh, keep keep the feast of uh, unleavened bread uh, before uh, this uh, feast uh, they have to remove uh, any yeast uh, they have to clean the house uh, thoroughly to remove uh, the remaining uh, yeast uh, and for seven days um, they are allowed it only unleavened bread uh, not leavened bread because uh, leavened bread uh, contains uh, yeast uh. look at the picture left uh, and right uh, which uh, look more delicious uh, left one right the right one looks like a uh, sky flakes <laughs> and uh, why did God uh, give uh, this uh, order to Israelites uh, we have to understand uh, it uh, spiritually it means uh, Israelites uh, should uh, serve God with a new heart uh, as you well as uh, their uh, new condition their body their life uh, 
is was uh, in Egypt uh, no more. And uh, not only uh, physically but spiritually, they must uh, leave uh, Egypt uh, or uh, sinful past uh, life. Uh, they have to serve God with a new uh, heart. Uh, no. What does uh, Easter symbolize? Uh, let us uh, take a look at next uh, screen. First uh, Corinthians chapter uh, 5, uh, 6 to uh, 8. Uh, let me read. Uh, Your boasting is not good. Don't you know that a little Easter works uh, through the whole batch of the dough? Get rid of the old Easter, then you may be a new batch without Easter, as you really are. For Christ, uh, our Passover lamb, has been sacrificed. Therefore, let us keep the festival not with the old Easter, the Easter of malice and wickedness, but with bread, without Easter, the bread of sincerity and truth. The Easter is a symbol of sin. When we, when sin is uh, in our uh, life, uh, it doesn't stop at that point. Uh, if we do not repent uh, of uh, the sin, it grows and grows. Uh, it tries uh, to harm our life uh, continuously. That's why uh, we have to remove uh, the sinful ha habit from our life. Uh, as uh, Israelites uh, removed the uh, Easter, any Easter before the feast. Uh, and uh, also, uh, if a uh, church doesn't handle properly the matter of uh, sin, it also has a bad influence on others. It may threaten the whole uh, church. We are uh, we Christians. Uh, we believed uh, in Jesus, uh, right? You believe uh, we are saved uh, by the Lamb of God. Last time, why did the uh, God uh, save uh, us. Uh, I told uh, you, right? Yeah. To make uh, you born again with a new creature who truly loves uh, God. And now uh, we um, enjoy the most blessed uh, relationship between God and us. Uh. Faith uh, should be reflected uh, in our life. Uh, if anyone says, I am Christian, but um, if uh, his life uh, doesn't reflect uh, his uh, life, uh, he should uh, check uh, he has a true faith uh, or not. Uh, we have to uh, leave uh, our uh, past uh, sinful uh, habit uh, is uh, uh, very uh, important. Uh, when Israelites uh, came out of uh, Egypt, uh, the day, 14th day, it became the first uh, day of their calendar, right? And their calendar was uh, resetted. Uh, likewise, when we believe in Christ, uh, a new day has uh, started uh, from us. Uh, and we um, have a new purpose of uh, life. Uh, and now, we may um, be uh, uh, tempted uh, by uh, uh, selfish uh, and sinful uh, desire. But uh, when we found it, uh, we have to repent it. We must uh, leave it. Uh, we must uh, leave it. Uh, God, um, we have to should uh, uh, walk uh, in the ways of God as uh, Jesus uh, teaches us, uh, Holy Spirit guides us, uh, and the Bible tells uh, us. Uh, 
할렐루야 Heritage of uh, faith um, Let me read uh, verse uh, 24 to 25 Obey these uh, instructions uh, as a lasting ordinance for you and your descendants uh, when you enter the land uh, that the Lord help you the Lord they will give you as he promised uh, observe uh, this uh, ceremony Passover and the feast of uh, unleavened bread uh, is not for one generation but uh, God uh, told the uh, Israelites um, it should be uh, kept uh, by generations to uh, come how can we apply it to our life um, we have to apply for our children a new generation we um, parents uh, we uh, concern about our children's um, education and also food, uh, clothing. But uh, what we um, most concern is uh, their um, condition of uh, spirituality so that uh, they may respect uh, God. And uh, this uh, month uh, is uh, May, right? Today is uh, May uh, 2nd. Uh, let me uh, make a, a slogan of our church it is a heritage of uh, faith some rich uh, parents uh, they give uh, wonderful house and big money to their children as uh, inheritance uh, let me uh, tell the best uh, inheritance uh, for children is uh, heritage of uh, faith we can give it to our children as we uh, make a, a model or an example as we uh, uh, when uh, by uh, leaving the words of God out I remember uh, my um, mother because of quarantine I haven't seen her many uh, years uh, she um, always uh, read the Bible and pray hours uh, every day and she, she uh, works uh, in church uh, with her uh, best uh, her life uh, teaches uh, me a lot uh, Light of Life Church um, members, uh, this month, uh, let us have uh, time to pray for our children that um, they may um, grow in knowing God. They may have uh, hope and purpose of life uh, in God. And also, if you are not children, if you are not parents, uh, you are youth, uh, please uh, pray for your um, parents uh, that uh, your parents uh, may stand uh, on the words of God and they may become healthy spiritually and uh, uh, physically I um, wish and uh, pray that um, all uh, family may uh, stand uh, before God as a true uh, worshiper God bless you. Let's uh, pray uh, together. Heavenly uh, Father, thank you for your almighty uh, hand uh, for our life. Uh, Israelites uh, were saved uh, by the blood of Lamb when tenth plague uh, was poured uh, on Egypt. Uh, we are saved uh, by the blood of the true Lamb, Jesus Christ. Uh, Holy Spirit, uh, help us that uh, we uh, may um, always uh, give thanks for this grace. Uh. Lord, um, we um, also pray uh, that uh, we may um, serve you with a new heart. Uh. Help us, uh, we uh, may uh, find uh, east uh, the simple uh, 
habit uh, now in our heart uh, that we may depend uh, on it. Uh. Lord, uh, we also pray uh, for our family and children and parents. Uh, in this month, uh, we may pray for uh, one another so that uh, we may uh, stand uh, before you as a true worshiper. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen.